Well, when I came into the school, I was like really scared and I was like, I didn't think that I was ready to face being a junior high student yet, but as soon as I walked in the buildings, I saw everyone smiling and just so happy to be here. And then I got to my homeroom and then it kind of just all fell into place after that. Both my children came to Dan Knott. We had a tough decision. It's not our neighborhood school. We checked out the different open houses and it was the feel that we had here that made us choose to come to this school. I realized that a lot of the daily things that happened with me that became normal to me, that I kind of started taking for granted, were actually like quote unquote exciting things that don't usually happen. Like, it's not usual that there's pizza to buy every Friday, for example, and it's not usual that there's these huge big projects that you get to work with your friends for multiple months, and that would account for your grade. Going to school is always exciting because there's, you always knew something was gonna happen. You know, there's always gonna be something going on something that would make you look forward to the next day and the next day and the next day. They're definitely going to take the stories. It's the, it's the events, it's those moments that created them to laugh or they met someone new. I think the students are going to walk away from building friendships. It's those lasting moments and so things like our Christmas luncheon where they get to sit and have a delicious meal with the whole school together or it's those memories that they build at the carnival where they're having fun outside together. Those are the lasting memories that they're going to walk away from and be like, yeah, I made some awesome friendships. I've made some connections with people in our building and they've developed the skills that they need to be successful. I'm in grade 12 now and what I miss about this junior high is that it had like a really close community and uh, because of the close community it had a lot of opportunities whether it was sports or it was ex any extracurricular uh, you could really branch out into any of your interests. Because elementary and junior high are, are quite different. In elementary you have one teacher that's meeting all of those needs for you but here you're going from class to class you have a locker and a lock and you've got to change for gym and you know so there's a lot of things that make kids feel a lot of really nervous and I feel that they do a good job here at helping kids to feel comfortable and having them feel part of the community right away. Cross-graded homerooms made it 100 times easier because the first day I remember coming into the school and I was a first grade seven that went into my homeroom and so I was like really scared but then I spent the whole morning with my homeroom and it like they showed me how to open my locker they showed me like basically all around the school and we became super close and your homeroom is kind of like your main family because you do so much with them and a lot of like the activities or challenges are all homeroom based so you get super duper close with them. And so that provides students the opportunity to really make those lasting memories that link them together. And then in terms of flex, I would say that togetherness gets built because of students going from kind of they pick where they want to go that they meet students from all over our building, from all over um, different classes. And so as a result, students can kind of just build those relationships in all three of the grades. You know, the way my kids talk about their teachers here, the way they talk about their learning, it's deeper, it's not surface learning, it's, it's a higher level of thinking. And I think that comes from how the staff engage the children and encourage them and support them. When I was at this junior high, uh, I was in the pre-AP program, and the pre-AP program was a program that really focused on what you wanted to do. And in junior high, your schedule is made for you and there's mandatory courses that you have to take. And so within those mandatory courses, what the junior high did is that it allowed for you to be creative and branch out within those mandatory courses. And so yeah, you maybe had to take language arts or math or science, but within language arts, math or science, you got to do these, you know, project-based learning, competency-based assignments, and it allowed you to make things that were fulfilling to you. It allowed you to explore topics that you wanted to explore. Well, this school has a lot of different options that other schools don't. So our school has basketball, soccer, and then they brought in extra phys ed, which a lot of schools don't have. I found construction really fun because I've always like liked that kind of stuff, but to be able to do it all by yourself and just like have a helping hand, but just feel so independent when doing it, I think that's really cool. I think that the leadership program is incredible here. It's so amazing and it just teaches you so much about who you are and how to be the best you and be the best leader that you can, which I really liked. I think in junior high, when kids are trying to figure out who they are, having more options 
to try out, to explore, to meet different people, to explore different interests. It allows you to kind of figure out who you are and find your way and find your path. A lot of my friends uh, going into grade seven at their junior highs really were the same people that they came out as in grade nine. There wasn't really any sort of pro progression or development made with how they were, their personalities or their way of thinking. Uh, this is really different from how I feel because I'm a very different person from, the, uh, from when I went in grade seven to when I came out in grade nine. And that's something that I really appreciated with the school and I really love because it really promoted growth and it promoted development and it promoted you being the best version of yourself.